I love the process of painting and printing and making art. The world just disappears. Yeah, it's transporting. It, it's like going to some other part of my brain. That's what it feels like. When you're actually working. When I'm working. So you were actually making the work, and then when you get to the point of the finished product, it was almost like you were stepping out of that world. I like bottles, I like vessels, so I've been doing a lot of those. I can play with the appearance of them. To choose something, it's sort of arbitrary. And, and I've sort of settled on just things that are immediate in my life, things that I've seen or that I think are beautiful. And then doing like flowers and plants, you don't have to be very exact. You can be very loose and just get some impression. Do you feel like there's a story that develops after you choose a subject? Like, is it something that as you work on it, there's a personal narrative that evolves? I like an image to allow the viewer to come up with a narrative. I don't necessarily have a narrative. You know, my French press and my coffee cup and my... So that's every morning I make coffee, I love my coffee, I like the shape of the French press and the glass and the metal. And I... So, you know, there's some narrative there, but I just, I kind of, more than that, I don't have more of a story than that, but I think that's evocative. Do you set up a still life for a period of time? Do you leave it there and come back and revisit it, or is it something that you just see during the day? I look at the photograph and it'll remind me, that, but then I put them together. But the initial inspiration will be something that you just see in your home or while you're outside. Usually, you'll see just a, a scene that sort of captivates you and you want to recreate. Yeah. You mentioned to me that this is a relatively new process for you too, and yeah. that it's freeing in a way because nothing you can't contain it or if you try to contain it it sort of works against you I'm trying to learn to do that so I really like that um, the, the way the paint is so fluid and it's a really nice medium Are they built up in layers? I mean, when I initially looked at them, they they look like you have a portion that's like a light, and then you build another layer on top, and more darks and more darks. But um, how does the process actually work when you're painting and making them? So I do a lot of layers on the plate, and that's what I've always done with, with the model prints, too. I was always a one-shot. I'd work on a plate for three or four hours. There always seems to be a balance, like you're trying to balance sort of spontaneity and control. Yeah. And, you know, you say you almost go to this other place. Like, what does the other place look like? I mean, is it just, do you almost just kind of zone out and do, you know, you just work and you I'm just... I'm just paying attention to this. I'm just totally engrossed. That's all. Um, Has our making always been that way for you? That well, you just yeah. get engrossed in the process? Yeah. You're, you know still observing how things are shaped and how they lay yeah. on a surface. Yeah, I love the fact that you can make something look three-dimensional on a flat plane. If you move in, they are a little abstraction. Well, that yeah. makes sense to me. Yeah. I mean, and that I like. You know, I, I never liked doing the really realistic. So they're representational, but they're loose because I could just keep going forever and get more and more money then when I look at it I think, well because you're in that I zone lost it because I'm in the you're yeah. like you're, you're so close to it 
and all the bleeding and the collars are all moving together. It's very it's very seductive to think about. But you still get a sense that there's a like a fleeting moment that's happening within the piece. You know, it's like something where the light is hitting. How now? How important is light? I mean, you mentioned it roughly. I mean, the light seems to be a huge importance. To I the think piece. it's hugely important and so vast and so absorbing. And um, I don't think I'll ever get to the end of it. Thank you.